So what options are available to you, to you as a patient if prostate cancer returns after surgical intervention or radiation therapy? Well, there are options available to patients after they've been treated with a primary modality, whether it's surgical intervention or radiation. For those patients that have received surgical intervention, in other words, their prostate was removed, and all of a sudden they go back to their physician and they start to see the PSA climbing, those patients are candidates for radiation therapy or hormonal therapy. For patients that have had radiation therapy, we can go back in, and if the PSA starts to rise, we can go back in surgically and remove the prostate. That's called a salvage prostatectomy. A salvage prostatectomy is a good operation. The goal is to get the prostate gland, the disease gland, out of the patient. But it, you do pay a risk with that. When one looks at continence rates and potency rates, they are much higher than what we see with a primary modality of doing surgical intervention at, at the front of the patient and as a primary modality when a patient's first diagnosed. So radiation and surgical intervention can be used in patients that develop a recurrence. As men get more advanced prostate cancer, those patients can undergo hormonal therapy. And hormonal therapy essentially fools the brain into shutting down the production of testosterone. We know that testosterone is what drives the prostate. And if you can shut down the production of testosterone, what that will do is slow down the growth of the prostate cancer and hence allow patients to live a much longer life. And that is considered first-line therapy. Once you have patients that have disease that spread into the bones or into the soft tissues in the body, those patients have advanced prostate cancer. We treat them with hormonal therapy, and, and a, a large percentage of those patients will actually eventually go on to develop castrate-resistant prostate cancer. Now, for many years, um, chemotherapy with docetaxel was the only opportunity available to patients that had this condition that developed castrate-resistant prostate cancer. Over the last few years, we've seen some very exciting developments take place. Immunotherapy with a drug called Provenge is now available in which blood can be harvested, the cells can be uh, essentially reconfigured, and then the cells are, are put back into a patient's body, and those cells, much like what antibodies do with infection, can attack prostate cancer cells and slow down the growth of prostate cancer. There are two new drugs that have come out, abiraterone, and used in conjunction with steroids can have a significant effect in reducing castrate-resistant prostate cancer progression. We also now have a drug, enzalutamide, which can be used in these patients that develop castrate-resistant prostate cancer. Enzalutamide right now is approved in patients that have received chemotherapy docetaxel chemotherapy that have progression, but there are tests undergoing right now, clinical studies looking at this drug being given before patients require chemotherapy. So this whole area of advanced prostate cancer, chemotherapy with docetaxel was really the only option a number of years ago, and now we've seen an explosion take place with immunotherapy, with Provenge, with abiraterone, with enzalutamide, New drugs are being developed that will help treat these patients that have refractory or castrate-resistant prostate cancer. Some prostate cancers are high risk, aggressive, and more likely to spread. Others are low risk, least likely to have bad outcomes. The biopsy says cancer, but current diagnostic tools provide limited information about how aggressive a man's individual disease is. So most men decide to treat prostate cancer immediately. Once treated, many men experience serious long-term side effects, like incontinence and sexual impotence. Immediate treatment isn't always needed, but right now a man can't be sure if his cancer is the kind that is likely to require treatment or if he's okay to wait for now. What if there was a test that could determine how aggressive prostate cancer is? Genomic Health is developing a new test to do just that. By reviewing the underlying biology of the tumor and using genes from multiple biologic pathways, 
The test can predict the aggressiveness of prostate cancer when diagnosed, allowing a man to make a more informed treatment decision with confidence, taking care of himself with more information and greater peace of mind.